welcome the three words, Facebook family and friends. This is the day that the Lord has made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let's just, wherever you are, just put your hands up and say, hallelujah. Just praise us to God this morning. We just thank him for all of his goodness today. Hallelujah. As always, in fifty word, as paraphrased in Psalms 100, we want to just shout joyfully to the Lord in all the land. We want to worship this great King with gladness. We want to come into his presence with singing this morning. We want to enter the gates with thanksgiving and the courts with praise. We want to give thanks today. We want to praise his holy name. For the Lord is good and his steadfast love is forever. And his faithfulness is for all generations. That's something to shout about right there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we come to you today just with a spirit of thanks. Father, just thank you for protecting us. Thank you for just protecting us so we can return to our sanctuary once again. I'm just so excited to be here, Father. And we just praise your holy name. We give you all glory and praises that you do today. Yeah. Father, just thank you for keeping a watchful eye over the 50 word family yes, and friend. Father, we, we just can't thank you enough. Thank you, Lord. But right now, right now, we want to feel your power and yes. feel your presence yes, today. Yes, Wherever you are, we just want to feel them today. Feel them with our mind, with our bodies and our soul. Father, we just want to feel you. Just engulf this service today with your Holy Spirit. Just anoint the praise team and anoint the pastor today. And bless all of those under the sound of my voice. We ask all of these blessings in your Son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Let all the people of God say amen this morning. Amen and amen. Service is called to order. And let's welcome
Father's nation, we welcome you to your word and your worship experience. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How great is our God. Yes, God. On behalf of Pastor, you okay, I will bring myself in to you. Welcome you to your worship and your word and experience. Yes, God. Amen. 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 Are you glad Amen. to be in the service one more time? Yes. Are you glad to be in the service one more time?
is celebrating his birthday today. Amen. Amen. We pray that he has a blessed day and that the good Lord will shower down on him and allow him to celebrate many, many, many more blessed birthday anniversaries. Listen, listen, listen. In this time of uncertainty, let's remember to check on one another. Amen. It really feels good when you get a call from somebody just, just I don't want nothing. I just want to check on you. Amen? Amen. Sister Jackie called me the other day. She said, I just want to check on you. Amen? Amen. We appreciate that. We really do. And we appreciate you appreciating when we cause a check on you. Amen? Amen. So just remember, you never know what a simple call will do to help someone who might be having a tough day or, or even a tough moment. Amen? So let's also check on one another. If they come across your mind, send them a text if you ain't got time to talk or they may be at work or whatever. Just let them know I've been thinking about you, praying for you. Amen. Amen. All right. As we transition into our time of giving, um, remember, remember, your living is connected to the giving. And that you want you want to plant good seeds and good ground. Amen. Right. Good Amen. soil. And I believe we have some good deep soil over here, Victory Word. And, yes, and you plant the seed, I, I, I just know you're... Your, your harvest is going to be right. Amen. Amen. Yeah, it's going to be right. Because remember, it's not your money that gets you close to God. It's your obedience. Yeah, right. So remember that when we give, we are only offering him a small portion of the abundance that he has already given to, to us. Right. And give it as an expression of our thankfulness and praise to God. So show God you're thankful. Amen. Amen. Show him you're thankful. So where you want to grow. Yes. yes so yes. as you prepare for your giving, please take um, note of the various options that you have to do so. You can go to our website at www.victorywordchurch.org and hit the giving button and you can use your debit card to continue to help in the upbuilding of the kingdom of God and that is via PayPal. You can also make your donations via Give a Five. And for those who aren't comfortable with either of those options, you can mail your donations to BWC at PO Box 361200, Gross Point, Michigan. 48236. As always, we are incredibly grateful to those who give so regularly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May God continue to bless you. If you need to reach Pastor Michael or myself or ET, just give us a call in the church office phone at 313-243-4512. If you have a need for a special prayer, please do not hesitate to reach out. Please make your prayer request at www.vigiword.com prayer request at gmail.com or go to our website www.victorywordchurch.org you get the prayer request tab and then we'll go directly to our pastor and we will pray with and for you let's remember to keep our pastors and our leaders in our prayers as they are frontliners too our prayers are purposeless our victory word church family pastor DL and first lady Harvey and new life ministries worldwide the Spiritual Church of His Army, Pastor Romaro Pittman, and the New Prosperity Baptist Church, Minister Abel Pittman, Bishop Leonard Gardner and family, Pastor Gregory and Lily Smith in the Zion Hill Baptist Church, Pastor James and First Lady Reigns in the FOSC of Christian Ministries, Pastor Dorian and Lady Morrison in Higher Praise Worship Center, Pastor James and First Lady Minnick in the Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church, and J.M. Arcade and Oliver, our mother Claudia Oliver and grandfather. Bishop Tim and Oliver, the minister of the Who Play, Sister Marsha White, Pastor James Marks and family, and our Vigi Word Church located in the country of India, Pastor Daniel Mose and family, and our Vigi Word Church located in the country of Kenya, Minister Carol Hicks, Alicia Campbell, former Chief James Curley, Detroit Police and Fire Departments, and all of the cities as well, all of the school systems and students of all levels, first responders and healthcare and essential workers, and a special prayer for the sick, the shut-in, and the bereaved. If you have anyone to add to our prayers and purposes list, just give us a call on the church office phone at 313-243-4512. Don't forget to go to our Facebook page every Monday for the awesome anointed word of the week. And remember, we are living our future now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, put those blessed heads together. It is giving time. It is giving time. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you're in need of an envelope, he's here on the hill in the alley. There's a cockpit and it's definitely no cockpit. You'll definitely assist you in your need. Just remember that God bless us a cheerful giver. So come on over to either side of the alley. So you see me. Amen.
Eternal God, our Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for yesterday and the day before that. Father, we thank you for life in these bodies one today. We thank you for every member that so has sown seeds into the ministry one today. We thank you for every member having faith in you, Father, that you will fulfill our every need. Father, we thank you just because you are who you are. We thank you for being faithful to us, and we pray that we can match up to be as just as faithful to you, Father. Yes, yes, yes. Father, we just want you to keep on blessing us over and over again. We want to keep our minds stayed on thee. Right. We ask that you bless each and every member of Victory Word and each and every associate that is associated with Victory Word as you continue to bless us and keep us and grow us in you, Father. Yes. This is our prayer. And it is so. And it is so. And it is so. And it is so. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. sanctuary full time. Amen. Amen. So start getting yourself prepared. Tell our sisters and brothers it's time to Come leave out the house. <laughs> yeah. You know, they didn't got comfortable. But it's time for us to come back to the sanctuary. We're gonna go one until the first Sunday in June. That is that is the plan. Okay. To come back to the sanctuary full time. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We thank God. We thank God. I thank you for your faithfulness, Victory Word. I thank you for all that you've done, all that you're doing, all that you continue to do yes. to make this ministry uh, a great ministry in the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. And I'm thankful for all of those that's watching us by Facebook Live and our social media outlets. We thank you for all that you do as well. Our churches that are in uh, India, they watch us, and also in uh, in Kenya. So we thank yes. God. For our pastor uh, Daniel Mose, and we also thank for Pastor James yeah, in, yeah. in the country of India. Yeah. We, we're just blessed. We yes, really we are. are. We yes, are really we are. blessed, and we ought to be thankful Amen. just for. I said in, in, in intercessory prayer today for just God keeping a smile on our face. Yes. When you can smile in the midst of all this drama that's going on, all of these things that are going taking place and in other countries, in our country, and even in our neighborhood. We ought to just thank God for keeping a smile on our face to allow us to overcome evil with good. Aren't you glad about that, that yes. you can yes. go day to day, and even though the day may not start off as, 
as well as you would like it, but before it's all over, God does something for you to let you know that he's still in charge. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. We ought to just thank him for that. Yes, God. Yes, God. Make your word go with me in prayer. Most gracious Father, we come before you this morning in the sanctuary saying thank you once again. We thank you not only because you're God, but because you are our Father, and holy is your name, and you are worthy of all our praise. Lord, we thank you for keeping us, for carrying us, for covering us, for completing us. Lord, we thank you today. We thank you and we praise you. Lord, we thank you for taking care of our families and our loved ones, our sisters, our brothers. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to go to and fro. Lord, we thank you for carrying us over the highways, byways, airways, waterways. Lord. We thank you, Lord, because... Even though we haven't done all that we should, Father, you have still been a good God to us. Yes, and so today, right now, in this place, in this place, yes. we're going to praise you. Yes, we're going to magnify you. Yes, we're going to worship you. Yes, we're going to shout hallelujah. Yes, we're going to say amen to your holy word, yes, Lord. Yes. We're just going to have a good time in you, Father. Yes, and now, dear Father, that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, for you are my strength and my redeemer. And it is so. And it is so. And it is so. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bid you do me a favor. Take out your cell phone right now. Take out your cell phone. Go to our, our Facebook page and share. Share today with someone. One of your friends might be at work, might need to hear a word. You know who might need a word today. And just share with them today. Amen. 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 If you were to turn to the book of Ephesians, the sixth chapter. Ephesians, sixth chapter. On the screen, it'll be from the NIV version. But I'm going to read it from the Amplified. Amen. Okay. All right. Children. I like this part. Children, obey your parents. In the Lord. That is, accept their guidance and discipline as his representatives. For this is right, for obedience teaches wisdom and self-discipline. Well. Honor, esteem value as precious, your father and your mother, and be respectful to them. This is the first commandment with a promise, so that it may be well with you and that you may have a long life on the earth. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger. Do not exasperate them to the point of resentment with demands that are trivial or unreasonable or humiliating or abusive. Nor by showing favoritism or indifference to any of them. But bring them up tenderly with loving kindness in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Says, slaves, be obedient to those who are your earthly masters with respect for authority and with a sincere heart, seeking to please them as service to Christ, not in the eye, not in the way of eye service, working only when someone is watching you and only to please men, but as slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from your heart, mm -hmm. rendering service with good will as to the Lord and not only to men. Knowing that whatever good thing each one does, he will receive this back from the Lord, whether he is slave or free. You masters, do the same, showing goodwill toward them, and give up threatening and abusive words, knowing that he who is both 
their true master, and yours is in heaven, and that there is no partiality with him, regardless of one's earthly status. In conclusion, victory word, be strong in the Lord. Draw your strength from him and be empowered through your union with him and in the power of his boundless might. Put on the full armor of God, for his precepts are like the splendid armor of a heavenly armed soldier, so that you may be able to successfully stand up against all the schemes and the strategies and the deceits of the devil. For our struggle is not flesh. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, contending only with physical opponents, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly, supernatural places. Therefore, put on the complete armor of God so that you will be so that you will be able to successfully resist and stand your ground in the evil day of danger. And having done everything the crisis demands to stand firm in your place, fully prepared, immovable, victorious. So stand firm and hold your ground having tightened the wide band of truth, personal integrity, moral core, moral core courage mm -hmm. around your waist, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and upright heart, and having strapped on your feet the gospel of peace in preparation to face the enemy with firm-footed stability and the readiness produced by the good news. Above all, Lift up the protective shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. I want to preach to you from the sermon topic this morning, just for a few moments. What are you struggling with? What are you struggling with? All of us are struggling with something, amen? The Apostle Paul had reminded us of the glory and promise of God, our need for his grace and his provision. Our new standing before God as both individuals and as a family of believers. The magnificence of God. A healthy perspective of suffering in the life of a believer. The love, power, and provision of God. And his calling to a life of holiness and greater more specifically, specifically how one is to live a life of holiness. The Lord God knows what is best in this text. He says that children are to obey their parents. Mm -hmm. And since there are few other sources of authority who care more or understand better, God gives parents to children for a reason. I'm all right. Raising a child in the discipline and instruction of the Lord helps them to be more emotionally, intellectually, physically, and spiritually healthy and say. Right. In the text, as I was reading it, and it was telling us about the relationship with parents and children, the same way God has his relationship with us as his children. Right. And so, raising a child spiritually in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. So us here spiritually, being raised by our spiritual father, it helps us to be more emotionally, intellectually, physically, 
and spiritually healthy and safe. Right. The more and more and more instruction that we take from our spiritual father is going to make us healthy, more healthy, mm -hmm. more smart, mm -hmm. emotionally stable, mm -hmm. and a sense of security. If you don't have those ingredients, then you need to check out who your daddy is. Yes. We, in this season, as believers, ought to be living, ought to be, be living our best life. All right. We ought to be stable. We ought to be happy. We ought to be uh, healthier mm -hmm. in our in our our speech. What we what we let out of our mouth what we allow into our spirit well. because of who our daddy is. Okay. So the question then becomes, if you know who your father is, then what are you struggling with? Okay. Okay. Number one, the greatest discipline you will ever have is obedience to God. My, my. My, my. Don't tell me how disciplined you are and you're not obedient to what God tells you to do. The kingdom conscious person can only be fully happy when he or she has surrendered themselves to their spiritual father. We sing that song, I give myself away. How much? All right. All right. Wow. How much of you have you given away? How much of you have you allowed to, to, to dissolve? Because some of the stuff that we're trying to give away, don't nobody else want it. All right, all right. So you have to really, really find out what am I struggling with? Because we have to be honest with ourselves. It is easy to say, uh, I'm doing well, I'm doing whatever. But what am I struggling with? Right now, I'm struggling with this button. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> so you have to, and, 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 and we as, as believers, we have to really take a look at ourselves and see what we're struggling with and how we're going to overcome the struggle. Mm. And the way we overcome the struggle, it says, through obedience to God. The kingdom conscious person can only be fully happy when he or she has surrendered themselves to their spiritual father. You will never be truly happy until you let go and let God. Right, right. Amen. I, I stopped trying to figure everything out and stopped trying to control everything mm -hmm. and just realized that my father has the power over everything. Mm -hmm. All I have to do is walk in the world on the road that he has prescribed for me to walk. All right. Amen. Uh, many times we struggle with, with things that have gone on or has transpired in our spirit that has passed. Mm -hmm. And we still struggle with our past. Mm -hmm. And the only way you're going to overcome your past is to realize that it came to pass. pass. Right. And once we realize that it has come to pass, then I can... I can truly focus on my future because my future is ahead of me. Future, I'm going forward, not backwards. Right. When I go forward, I don't continue to think about those things that continue to hinder me. So I should not be struggling with past situations, All right. even though some of us still are. Yes, yes, yes. And we have to be truthful and look at why am I still struggling? Well, most times I'm still struggling because I haven't released it. Right. It has released you. You just haven't released it. Right. Right. Yeah. Word family, when you honor your parents, hear me good. You learn to reverence their position, not their power nor their past. Yeah. All right. Many times we look at what has happened to us in the past. Yes, Lord. We look at our parents 
in the past and compare them to where they are now. And what we ought to do is reverence where they are and stop looking where we've been. Mm -hmm. Many times, our children can't get past, uh, we, we can't raise them because we're still getting over things that happened to us and then use that as a mirror to how we treat our children. Mm -hmm. What are you struggling with? Mm -hmm. are, are you struggling? Some of us struggle trying to be perfect mm -hmm. instead of trying to be, instead of being transparent. Mm -hmm. Transparency is being able to allow those around you to see a portion of you to, to, so they will understand that, no, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect, but I am being productive. All right. All right. See, when you become productive in God's word, you stop looking at what the mistakes you made. All right. we, we, we're too busy looking at old mistakes all the time. Let mistakes, let them go. God has forgiven you. Forgive yourself and do like David. Don't keep making the same mistakes over and over and over mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. Because why? I'm not, I don't have that struggle anymore. And you have to get to a point where you stop struggling and wrestling with yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. It's time to wrestle with some new ideas. It's time to wrestle with some new promotions. It's time to wrestle with some new, uh, a new way of thinking, a new way of doing things in God. Right. But if I'm continually wrestling with my past, mm -hmm. if I continue to wrestle with the past, the past will always win and it will never come to pass. Right. Amen. 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 Victory word, don't make your children re resent you by trying to make them be you. All right. Ooh. 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 Yeah, yeah. Too many times we try to raise our children the way we were raised, mm -hmm. thinking that that's going to work. First of all, let me share this with you. The things that you were made out of, these, these children ain't made out of that. <laughs> they, 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 they not made out of what you you was made out. Of. They can't take what you could take. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and and then many times we have we have spoiled them and and not we've done trying to do things so they didn't have to to go through what we went through. They already got their own baggage. Don't give them yours too. All right, all right, amen. Come on. Amen. We in the body of Christ have to think the way Christ thought about us as the church. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that each, God, he, he deals with all of us, but not the same way. Right. He, he knows when to hold it. He knows when to push us. He knows yes. when, to, when to love us, and he knows when to be strong in his love. And we have to do the same thing. We have to know when to speak, when not to speak. Mm -hmm. You know, different things. Uh, all of my children are grown. And so they have their own mindset on how to do things. And, 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 and my job really more so is to guide them, to, right. to give them direction. But don't tell them this is the way you got to do it right. because God don't make you do it that way. But we want to do something that God don't even make us do. Right. Right. Amen. There's a way that we have to discipline. There's a way that we have to chastise. There's a way that we have, but we always have to remember to put God first in our thought process of what we do and how we do, because a lot of times we still struggle with us, and while we're struggling with us, we struggle with them. Right, right, right. And they're trying to figure out why mom and daddy crazy. <laughs> All right. We had some crazy things going on. But the more I study myself and study the word of God and how I line myself up with God, then that gives me the spirit to give them more room. Mm, okay. Because I found out that all of us don't grow at the same time. Right. Right. We all don't see it the same way at the time that we think we ought to see it. That's true. And guess what? God don't bless us all at the same time with the same stuff. Why would God bless me with the blessing for you and I'm six foot two and you five foot one? All and he right. gonna give me the five foot one blessing on a six foot one frame? Right. That don't even feel good. All right, all right. Well. Yes, Lord. <laughs> I want the blessing that fits me. I hope you want the blessing right. that fits you. Yes. Yes. 
And the thing about it, our Heavenly Father knows what fits us all. Mm -hmm. So while he's blessing you, I'm shouting and jumping because I'm waiting on mine. Right. So stop struggling with, with competition. Mm -hmm. And start thanking God for all that he has done for you right now. All that he's going to do. That, my prayers, I thank you, Lord, for what you've done, what you're doing, what you're going to do. Amen. You know, one day I came home, there was some crazy stuff going on. And uh, I had just came back from the precinct. And uh, I was sitting in the bedroom. And, and I prayed every morning anyway. And prayed with my uh, at roll call with the officers. And I had to pray with some of the supervisors because we were just one of those kind of days, you know. And I came home, and uh, Lady T was in the bathroom, and she was getting herself ready for work. She was getting dressed so she could go downstairs and um, turn on the computer so she could get ready for work. And I said, come sit with me for a few minutes. And she, she said, what's wrong? And I was like, it's in my heart right now. We need to pray. I, I need I need to pray, but I need you to touch and agree with me in prayer. Mm -hmm. Do you know that where you live ain't safe? <laughs> <laughs> but did you know where you live is safe? Mm -hmm. yeah. I know that sounds crazy. Yeah. 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 It ain't safe, but it is, but it is safe. Uh, you have to really start looking with your spiritual eyes mm -hmm. and see what's going on around you. And when the Lord tells you to stop and pray, mm -hmm. do it then. Yes, right. yes, Lord. Uh, you don't have to be doing anything wrong mm -hmm. for wrong to show up. Right. You don't have to do anything evil for evil to show its ugly head. Right. Right. But what you do have to do is to be able to respond when God tells you to speak. I know that's right. I know that's and many times we bypass it because we're so busy being busy in our daily life. And right. here today, I challenge and I submit to each of you that it is more time than at any other time to pray. Yes. Yes. This is a time of prayer. I didn't say you had to fall down on your knees. I didn't say you had to get prop, uh, prostrate on the floor. But I did say while you were driving, and the Lord says, speak and pray while you're driving because danger is ahead of you. Danger might be behind you. Danger might be at the workplace when you get there or at the gas station while you're leaving there. There's just too much going on for us not to be too concerned about what God is telling us daily. Oh, no, that's right. Right. We really have to take more time out to hear him because mayhem is happening everywhere. Yes, yes, yes. So in the midst of all this going on, take time out to understand uh, there's a lot of people struggling with a lot of things. And one of my things that I don't ever want to be struggling with is my praise. Right. Oh, no, that's right. right. My praise and my worship, I should not struggle with. Mm -hmm. My praise to God, my, my thankfulness to God, I should not be struggling with that. Mm -hmm. I might be struggling with some bills to pay, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to be struggling with the one who gives me the money to pay the bills. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to struggle with the one that woke me up this morning. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be struggling when you know good and well you haven't done all that you should do. And he still blessed you right. in spite of you. We shouldn't be struggling with saying, Lord, I thank you. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Right. It is more important, victory word, to teach them about God than us trying to be their God. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. We are the parents and they are lent to us by God so we can prepare them to be vessels to be filled by God so they can be used by God to be change agents of love in the earth. All right. All right. I'll say that again. Mm -hmm. We are the parents and they are lit, the children are lit to us by God. We don't even own them. Even though they came through their will. Mm -mm. <laughs> so 
so we can prepare them to be vessels to be filled by God. So they can be used by God to be change agents of love in the earth. We have to make sure that we pour enough into our children, our godchildren, our grandchildren, our nieces, our nephews, and whoever other child that we come in contact with. Because in the time of social media, when they can see everything, hear everything, watch every fad that comes across that's going on in the earth, we have to teach them that it is more to life than stuff and getting things and gratification and money and, and cars and chains and, and gym shoes. There is something called love for your neighbor. Yes. There is something about being respectful to your parents yes. and to their seniors. And there is something to saying yes and no. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Nothing wrong with saying that. Mm -hmm. It's nothing wrong with saying, excuse me. Right. We, we've got to teach them because we're not going to be with them forever. But the word of God just said, if you honor your father and mother, this is the first commandment with promise that you will have a long life. Yes. Mm. Yes. Long life means living my future yeah. now. Yes, God. Right. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, Amen. Yes, yes. See, long life isn't really based upon years. It's really based upon how you live your how life you while you're living your years. Because right. 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 there's a lot of people that's lived a long, miserable life. Right. We have to understand that God is talking right now. What you're doing right now, it's important to how you take care of yourself, how you, what you speak into the atmosphere, how you handle your, listen, some things God is going to do for you supernaturally when you hear him more and stop trying to do it all yourself. Right, yep. right, yep. 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 right. To everything, there is a season. There is a season where you have to do all the plowing and the working, and then there's a season where you have to stand and wait on it to harvest. Yes, yes, right. There are some times when you just got to stand still and wait on God. You know you've done all that you were supposed to do. Now I'm just waiting because my expectation is in what God said in his word, that he would not leave me nor forsake me. Yes, 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 God, yes, God. The body of Christ has to stop struggling with what people think about who we serve, what we believe, and who we represent. It's time to know what we believe and who we believe in. You got to know this for yourself. Stop struggling with your God. Listen to me. I am an Israelite who believes in the, in the spirit of who Christ is. Okay. All right. And Christ is my Lord and Savior. Who came in the body of Jesus. Right. I understand who I am, and I understand whose I am, and I understand who really has the power. All right. Amen. Uh -huh. Come Amen. On. And when you realize and understand how it is all connected, you won't be so busy trying to prove somebody else wrong. Right. right. Exactly. There it is. I'm not here to prove nobody wrong. There it is. I'm here to stand in the gap and declare the good news huh. that if I stand long enough Come in on. his Come word, yes, his sir. word will stand long enough in me. All Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Yes. Too many people in the body trying to prove this ain't right, that ain't right. Mm -hmm. In other words, all I have to do, the word stands alone. It stands on its own. Yes. I don't have to add nothing to it, take anything away from it. What I do is I lift up the text but the bottom line is this, brothers and sisters. I don't care how much church you go to, how much church do you have in you to make your life good? Right, right. Because at the end of the day, you got to be happy with you. That's right. That's true. That's true. Happy with you. What are you struggling with? Why are you struggling being happy? <laughs> You're struggling right. to have joy and peace. 
I'm struggling because I'm trying to do it all myself. But when I decide to let go, let God have his way. Word family, listen to me. Stop saying things just because it sounds good. Or it's the latest religious cliche. Or because your favorite religious personality said it. Search it out. See if it has substance in your life. It's time to be you. Too many of us say, how you doing? I'm blessed and highly favored. Are you really? <laughs> Too blessed to be stressed. Really? Then why are you? Right. You know, we say it, we say a lot of things. I, I, I got a lot of personality, uh, 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 different religious personalities that I look up to. But I got to search out and see does that work for me. That's right. That's right. That's why my pastor, he used to tell, he said, every time we talk, it's another good day. I had to search that thing out and find out it for myself. It is. And then I just added to it. It's another good day to have a God day. Yeah. Yeah. He said, I've been waiting all week long to worship God with an anointed vessel just like you. I took that as my, as my, uh, my slogan. Because I allowed that to be in my spirit too. I've been waiting all week long all right. to worship God with anointed vessels just like you. But some of us say stuff because it just sounds good to say. Right. Having searched it out, it don't work for us. It just sounds good. Because that's what church people do. We get sound bites. We good to say, a, 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 ooh, that sounds good. I'm write that down. No, write it down and then chew on it. Right. See if it's going to work in your life for you. Because usually it will, but it's just something that we say. We always say things because it sounds good. And there's nothing wrong with it sounding good, but allow it to resonate in your spirit so it can be a part of your warfare, part of your of your your tools that you use to, to fight the wiles of the devil. Right, right. Mm. Words can hurt and words can heal. It takes maturity in Christ to heal someone that intentionally hurt you. But remember this, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. I'm going to share something with you. This week I was at home and I can truly understand the plight that I read about Jesus when he was in the wilderness and the devil started picking with him. What is it? Anyone bothering me at all? No one was bothering me but me. Right. Uh, I, I had shared with her pastor T, I think she said it last week, uh, where people say love make you do crazy things. And I said, no, love don't make you do crazy things, your emotions do. So I'm sitting this week, just me, myself, and I, and my emotions. Right. And my emotions was just having the best of me this day. You know, I was just, I ain't gonna go through all of what, what happened, but I was sitting there and I started getting upset and uh, just, woe is me. I was tearing up and everything. And I was just having a moment. I was feeling like the young folks say, some kind of way <laughs> I was. And so I'm going through this moment and everything and all of a sudden, I calmed myself in my spirit, and I said, you crazy. I said, you are so crazy. Why are you going through this? I said, and then I started thinking about all the good things. Because at that moment, I was thinking about all the things that I got to do. All the things, you know, behind the scenes about life. And I'm dealing with kids that ain't mine. And I make issues and problems and things that I work at work and then these people here don't nobody don't nobody really you know they don't appreciate what I'm boy they don't I'm sick and tired of I'm God, man shoot you know I'm I blow it I'll be praying and doing all this stuff and we'll go see them and, and 
I went through all that, having a pity party all by myself. And then I had to talk to myself and say, you know what? You stupid. <laughs> why, why, of all the goodness that God has done, you know, I had to, so in other words, I was struggling with my own self emotions. You gonna struggle with you, but you have to overcome you. And a lot of days you gotta just sit there and say, you know what? If it had not been for the Lord on my side, Lord, I think I started in the middle of that foolishness. Because that's all it was. I started to praise him. I, and that's where the scripture says, when you resist the devil, he will flee. Because he does not want to hear you praise God. I started thanking him for everything that he brought me through. I started thanking him for what I had. I started thanking him for the house I lived in. I started thanking him for allowing me to take care of my mother. And she's not in no no uh, nursing home. And got to worry about somebody else taking care of her, seeing about her. Uh, misusing her. I started thanking him for my wife, for being my wife, being there, taking care of me and helping me through all of this. I started thanking him for my children, for as much as, uh, as children that I see out there not doing well. Mine is doing pretty good. I started thanking him for the grandchildren. They okay. I started thanking him for victory work and all that thing. I started thanking him for my brother and my sister. I started thanking him for my brother-in-laws and all. I started thanking him for my body feeling pretty good that day. I started thanking him because I knew I had stood up and started shopping and and step and said, I don't know what crazy thing came over me, but it must have took that crazy thing to come over me for me to start praising him. So maybe sometimes the God that we serve allows you to feel those other things to make you come out of those things and start praising him for all the good things that he does. And he does so many good things that outweighs those bad things. We don't have no bad days, just bad moments. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Putting on the armor of God not only protects you, but it insulates you from the evil one. And also balances you during spiritual warfare. You won't be so easily influenced, moved, or shifted by one's motives to persuade you to be on their side when they are clearly not on the Lord's side. All right, all right. The armor of God, it balances you to allow you to see people for who they are. Don't you know there's some people that you know that always want you on their side, even in their wrong? Right. Mm -hmm. But the armor of God balances you to allow you to see it for what it is. Mm -hmm. See, putting on the armor of God, it protects you, it insulates you, and balances you during spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. And you won't be so easily influenced, because you know some of us got some people in our lives that can easily influence us. Oh, but you won't be so easily influenced, moved, or shifted by one's motives to persuade you to be on their side when they are clearly not on the Lord's side. If, it, if you ain't on the Lord's side and it ain't right, I'm not with you. I'm sorry. Right. I love you. I'm not just gonna. I'm not gonna jeopardize my blessing fooling around with you. Right. Mm -hmm. The enemy. Victory word in this season and system, the enemy in this season and system has a stronghold on the earth. Right. But we as the body have the responsibility to be the calm in the earth. All right. We have a responsibility as the body of Christ to be the calm in the earth while the enemy is going to and fro through the earth. Right. With all of this crazy stuff that we see, gas high, mm -hmm. things going on over in uh, the Ukraine, mm -hmm. just, just, just the evilness just going to and fro. Mm -hmm. 
but we have a responsibility to be the calm in the midst of this storm. That's right. We have the responsibility to tell others that there is a reality in serving a real God. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that everything that comes against us, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. The enemy in this season and system has a strong hold on the earth. But we as the body have the responsibility to be the calm in the earth because we have the authority to overcome evil with good. Our Father has commanded us to love thy neighbor as thyself. So our love is the authority not someone else's hate. Mm. My love outtrumps anyone's hate. Okay. So when they hate on you, you love on them. Mm. When they take the low road, you take the high road. When they say all manner of evil against you, you pray for them. All right. See, God really needs to know, are you on my side? Mm -hmm. Or are you just standing on the sideline cheering for me because you're waiting for me to give you something. All right. Sometimes you just got to stand and praise him all by yourself. Yes. Victory Word, when we decide, listen to me right here, when we decide to stop struggling with our call and be obedient to our calling we will stop having so many busy signals and missed calls on our line. You see, the missed calls are the blessings we should have had, but we were too busy struggling with things that didn't bring us anything but static. Static in our relationships, in our business decisions, in our hopes, and in our dreams. Nothing but static. Interference, nothing but static and interference, no signal due to a lack of connection to the source. Mm, wow. Wow. I'll say that again from the top. When we decide to stop struggling with our call and be obedient to our calling, we will stop having so many busy signals and missed calls on our line. The missed calls are the blessings we should have had, but we were too busy struggling with things that didn't bring us anything but static. Mm -hmm. Static in our relationships, in our business decisions, in our hopes and in our dreams. Nothing but static and interference, no signal due to a lack of connection to the source. You better know who your source is. Mm -hmm. Busy signals. At our, at, at, the, at our job, there's a phone with all of this static in it and, uh, at, at the security office. And, and I'm like, man, sometimes you can't even hear the people. The ring is good. It rings to let you know. Have you ever heard your blessing coming to you? <laughs> but when you picked up the phone, it was static. It's a, it's a shame when, when God's ready to bless you with something, but you've got too much going on in your life to receive. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Family, listen. The busy signals are the things we kept trying to call into our lives. But every time we called, God would never allow the line to be clear to connect because he knew there was no blessing in that connection. You ought to be thankful. Yes. You ought to be thankful sometimes when you try to connect with some things mm -hmm. and God said no. Yes. Mm -hmm. As I close, when we put on the full armor of God, we are saying I'm prepared for war. Mm -hmm. But I'm covered with the peace of God which assures me that even through the war, even though the war is on, this is the shouting part. Even though the war is on, the struggle is over. All right, all right. Yeah, you you gonna go through some things, 
But you ain't got to struggle while you go through it. Yeah, you're going to have some ups and downs and some things that's going to detour you in life, things that you wasn't prepared for. But since you know who you are, whose you are, and you're not struggling with knowing that, the struggle is over. The struggle is over. I know who I am and whose I am. I'm on the Lord's side. And being on his side positions me to be on the winning side because at the end of the day, guess what? All I do is win. All I do is win. Now, this is the catch though. And I'm done. Remember this. Remember Winners worship. Mm, yes. right. Those who struggle, whine. Mm. I'll say it again. Okay. Remember, winners worship. Those who struggle, whine. Mm. I'm a winner. Say this with me. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. Not a whiner. Not a whiner. You got a hand praise on that today, Mr. Word. I'm a winner. I'm not a whiner. And I'm not going to struggle no more. Amen. Not Especially not with my worship or my praise. Amen. 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 Well, if there's one that would like to give their life to Christ at this time, those watching me by social media, this is your opportunity to stop struggling. And just say this prayer with me. Lord, I receive you as my, as my Savior. Jesus the Christ, the Word made flesh and that has dwelt among us. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for not allowing me to struggle any longer. I want to be a part of the family once again. I want to be like you. I want to be a reflection of you in the earth. I'm tired of struggling. And I want to be a winner once again. And if you prayed that prayer with me, that's all it took for you to be a part of the body once again. Stop struggling with yourself and start learning about the God that lives in you. The one that wakes you up in the morning. The one that speaks to you. The one that will tell you what you need to know about you. And if there's one that would like to be a part of this fellowship, this ministry, the Victory Word Church, here, we are a judgment-free zone. We don't beat you up, we pick you up, and we watch God lift you up. And if you'd like to be a part of our ministry, just call the church office at 313-243-4512. You'll be glad you did. Well, Vicky Word, it's been another good day. It's been another God day. I'm glad you came out today. I'm glad those that are watching tuned in today. So we'll be back here third Sunday. Next Sunday will be virtual only. And then we'll be here on third Sunday, which will be Resurrection Sunday. Amen. Remember that Friday, uh, April the 15th, we'll be in fellowship at Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church. Come out, join your pastor, be a part of the fellowship. I'm sure we'll still be in a... Uh, it will be set up for us to sit correctly still during the we still have COVID protocols I'm sure they'll be in place so don't worry we're going to have a great time and we're just going to be we're going to have the spirit of love to be able to fellowship once again with our brothers and sisters in that particular part of the big time amen amen well Victor Word I love you I'll see you virtually next Sunday and it's time to go. Amen. I love you if you were. I love you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
presence of your Holy Spirit. We ask for it and we felt it today. Father, just continue on blessing us and keeping us this week. And just thank you again for this fellowship, whether we're here in the sanctuary and those on social media. Just, we just thank you for fellowship. Thank you for those words of wisdom. Thank you for the prayers and the praise and the songs. Father, show us opportunities this week to bless others and show them that there are benefits in serving a true and a living God. This is our prayer, and it is so. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Well then, let's